That's right, Kim. The jury got the case right after closing arguments, during which Panky's lawyer said Panky has serious mental health issues but did not murder Janelle Matthews. Prosecutors, on the other hand, describe Panky as a manipulative, remorseless killer. The search, ladies and gentlemen, for justice for Janelle Matthews ends today. 37 years after Janelle Matthews went missing and two years after her body was found, prosecutors appealed to the jury to convict Stephen Panky, the man accused of shooting Janelle to death and burying her body in a field in Weld County. And I submit to you, your common sense tells you exactly what happened here. He murdered Janelle Matthews December 20th, 1984. According to prosecutors, Panky's statements over the years to various law enforcement agencies showed a knowledge of Janelle's murder that only the murderer could have like the fact that a rake was used to cover up footprints in the snow at the murder scene, and that Panky said he knew Janelle was dead years before her body was found. He knows it because he knew she was dead because he did it. For his part, Panky's lawyer, Anthony Viorst, spent a lot of time disparaging his own client, telling jurors that Panky is a difficult man, a disagreeable man, but not a killer. You know, a jerk is not the same as a murderer, um, but he is a jerk. Vior said Panky is a true crime junkie who lied for years about his knowledge of Janelle's murder and that Panky inserted himself into the case to somehow boost his self-esteem. He says strange things. He does strange things. You know, does that mean he's a murderer? No, it does not. In addition to first degree murder, Panky is also charged with kidnapping Janelle. Kim and Tom will let you know as soon as we have a verdict. That trial's gone on for quite some time, and, and yet it's a case that while it was so long ago, Matt, many people that have lived in Colorado for a long time certainly remember it. A lot of emotions have been stirred up with this one, Kim. Yeah, thank you. All the way back from 1984. Yeah. All right, Matt, thanks.